Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So, do you want to have some awesome looking artwork like this to use on your Raspberry Pi using RetroPie or Recall Box? Well, it's actually pretty simple using the Universal XML Scraper. A few people have hit me up and said, hey man, I'm, I'm having some issues with this program. Either they can't figure it out or something's going wrong. So I figured, hey, why not do a quick little basics tutorial on this so you can get some awesome looking artwork like this. So our first step, if you have not done so already, go ahead and navigate here and download the Universal XML Scraper. The executables will be down here. Select whichever version you need. And don't worry, link will be in the description so you can easily get to this GitHub page to download this. So once you have that downloaded and you know where the executable is on your PC, next step is gonna be optional, but the Universal XML Scraper is gonna ask you if you are a registered member to Screen Scraper. So we might as well subscribe to Screen Scraper anyway. It is free, they don't ask for much information. So you're gonna navigate here. I'll put the link in the description as well. This website is in French. So if you want to change the language to something other than French, your options are gonna be right here. So you'll go ahead and pick whatever language you need. And then on this side, you'll have the button that says subscribe. Go ahead and click subscribe, make an account, you're good to go. Once that is done, we will go ahead and find our universal XML scraper. So there's a silent version, and then there's another version that makes some sounds. Doesn't really matter what you use, but let's go ahead and open that bad boy up. So boom, the program is opened up. Now, there's gonna be a couple ways you can go about doing this. I highly recommend not scraping off of your RetroPie or your Raspberry Pi configuration. Don't, it, it just takes longer and sometimes it can be a little buggy. I much prefer running the scrape off of my PC. So what you'll need to do is, is have a folder on your PC that has all your ROM files that you want to scrape. You can also do it on your RetroPie, but like I said, it takes a heck of a lot longer. And for me, I have not had much success. So I've had a lot of success using this on the PC, so that is the way I like to do it. So once the screen is open and you get this little bad boy here, it may prompt you a few things, but if it doesn't prompt anything, you'll go ahead and go to Launch Wizard, and this will be typically the prompts you go through. Select your operating system. Are you gonna be scraping for Recall Box or RetroPie? So today we're doing RetroPie. So I'll select RetroPie. Now these are the base options. There are other options as well that you can change, but we are gonna go ahead and use the, the three artwork mix. So I will click that. So up here, it's gonna ask, you know, we have it just set to that, to, to the three artwork, but you can change it here. You got the arcade option. You got the big shot option or the standard three image option. We are gonna leave it to that. So we're gonna go ahead and save. Now, where are your ROMs located? Are they on your Raspberry Pi or on your PC? Like I said, if you do it on your Raspberry Pi, it's gonna take a lot longer. It's much better to have your ROMs backed up on your PC, exactly the ones that you're using on your RetroPie or recall box setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that they're on my PC. So now it's gonna prompt me, well, where are they? So since I've been doing a, a swine apple image redo, I did make a folder. So in this folder, I do have my ROMs. What I need to do is navigate to the folder. As you see here, my ROMs folder has all my systems, which have all my ROMs in it. So typically what we're gonna to wanna to do is select that folder. If I just select the top folder, it's gonna give me a message saying, hey, there are no ROMs up in here. So we want to select the folder that has our systems with ROMs inside it. So ROMs folder. So I'll go ahead and select that. Now it'll take one moment and then it's going to prompt you. Are you registered on Screen Scraper? Now, if you didn't do the step ahead of time, if you click no, it's going to ask you, do you want to register or do you want to just go ahead and go without it? 
but we are registered on Screen Scraper, so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and say yes, I am. Now, it's gonna ask, it doesn't always, if you already have this set up with your user ID and password, it should just save it. But if not, go ahead and enter your credentials there and it will check and then you're good. Do you wanna scrape? Heck yes, we wanna scrape. So now it's only gonna recognize the systems that were in your, your ROM folder. So I've already scraped most of this other than Neo Geo Pocket. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Now it's checking the server, it's doing all that stuff, and now it's going through. And you see the logo for the system is right here in the middle. And you see we have the progress bar. I only had eight games in there. So it's going ahead and it is scraping all that information through that. So we'll go ahead and give it a moment to finish and then I will show you where all this stuff is gonna be located on your PC. So boom, that's done. ROM's found 100%, eight out of eight, we're good. Click OK, we're done. We can shut this down unless you want to continue. If you want to continue, just go back to Launch Wizard, go through the whole thing again, and select your system, and you're good to go. But we've, we've done what we wanted to do for now, so we're gonna go ahead and close that out. Now, it's gonna save your downloaded images and your game lists on your PC. So where that's gonna be located at, is you're gonna to navigate to local disk. On my PC, my local disk is the C drive. You know, that's pretty much default for most people. So you, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and navigate there. And then you should have a configs folder. Open that configs folder, all, emulation station. Now you have the two important file or folders with your files, downloaded images with all your systems, and then your game lists for all your systems. So wh what are we gonna do with all this? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use WinSCP. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. And we have used WinSCP quite a bit on this channel. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna download this, but we're just gonna use this to, to connect to our RetroPie setup. So host name, RetroPie. If that does not work for you, go on your Pi and go to RetroPie configs and go to show IP and then just in host name, type in what your IP address shows up. So from there, username, pi, password is raspberry. It's gonna go ahead and connect us. So on the left is our PC. I'm gonna navigate to the C drive, go to configs, go to all, emulation station, downloaded images. Now you can just, you can just copy both of these over to where we need to put them, but, or you can just do them individually if you so choose, depending upon how you have your setup. But on the right side is our Pi. So we should be in home, Pi, and then there's gonna be a shortcut to the dot emulation station directory. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up. In the emulation station directory, we do have these two folders, downloaded images and game lists. Like I said, you can simply, boom, copy those over, you're good to go or you can do them individually, such as this. We just did Neo Geo Pocket. Let's go ahead and copy the artwork over. We're good. Go to game list. Boom, we are good. So now once we get on our pie, we're gonna have our awesome looking artwork. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at that. Okay guys, so back on our pie, if everything was successful, our artwork should look like this. We should have our screen grab in the middle, box art on the left, our logo on the bottom right, looking pretty awesome. So the system we just scraped, the Neo Geo Pocket, did not pull up the box art, unfortunately, but we did get the screen grab and the logo. So for some systems, this may be an issue, or some games, it may be an issue going through Screen Scraper when you use Universal XML. 
Um, it's not a big problem, in my opinion. Most systems scrape just fine. For example, you know, looking at PlayStation, almost everything looks good, but occasionally you'll get something like this, like Breath of Fire 4. It looks good to me and I'm perfectly fine with this, but we don't have the logo on the bottom right. Nah, you know, it, to make it, you know, universal with the rest of the images, we might want to add that. You can always go back in, find that particular image, do not change the name or anything, and just edit the image. If you find a, a PNG of the the logo, you know, with the transparencies, or you just make the logo yourself, you can add it to the image and then just put it back over, and you'll be good to go. But like I said, if you're fine with that, it's cool. Like I said, not all systems scrape that way. Some of them, yeah, you might be missing the box art and whatnot on some stuff. But for the most part, the systems that you would expect everything to be there are going to mostly 99% be there. Like Nintendo, for example, we have almost every game has the complete artwork. But like I said, it's easy to go in and fix that if you so choose. But these still, regardless... They still look a lot nicer to me than just having a screen capture. You know, if you want to do video, that's a whole other thing. We're just looking at doing the screen, you know, the normal screen scrapes on here. But this way does look pretty awesome. So I really hope this video helped. There's a lot more to this program that we can, you know, venture into and talk about in the future. But just to get you started on the basic scraping process using Universal XML, I thought this was a good start. So smash that like button if you could. Really would appreciate that. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And with that said, guys, I will catch you all next time. Boom!